What's going on, guys? Briar Rabbit here. Today, I want to share a project that I've been working on for the last couple of days and I thought was really fascinating. And it's based around this. This is an NVIDIA Shield. And what we're going to do is we're going to download a front end and some software that will allow us to emulate older video games on the NVIDIA Shield. And the reason I found this so fascinating was that the NVIDIA... Video Shield is actually a pretty powerful little device compared to other like streaming widgets that you plug into your TV. This one's actually a little bit more powerful than most of them that you'll find. Uh, however, the reason I bought this was to be able to connect it or to network it with my gaming PC and play 4K 60 FPS games in my living room. Uh, it connects to your home network and you can play games off your PC, which may be in your bedroom or your office like mine is. And it worked really good for that. I did a video a couple of years about how to do it. I loved it. But now that I've got a PS5 and a Xbox Series X, I don't find that I'm using it for that anymore. It's kind of redundant. So I went on the internet and I was looking around for cool things to do with a NVIDIA Shield. And I found it. I found something really cool. Basically, we're gonna use a program called Hyperspin to download and emulate older video games on this NVIDIA Shield. And it's really easy to do. It's, the longest part of this is actually downloading the files. Uh, so to do that, we're going to go to a website called Arcade Punks. And uh, it's just arcadepunks.com. Once you're at arcadepunks.com, up near the top, you'll see this front end downloads and then this Android button. You're just going to click on that and scroll down and you're going to download this torrent file. Uh, the torrent file is about 200 gigabytes. It's a big file. And that's another thing you're going to need is you're going to need some way of adding storage to your NVIDIA Shield, whether that's a external USB hard drive or a USB stick. As long as it's got 200 gigabytes of space on it, you'll be fine. Probably a USB stick would be better. But for me, I just had a you know an old external hard drive kicking around. Uh, that's USB. So I plugged it in and it works fine on the USB hard drive as well. So you're going to download that. Uh, I use the Qubit Torrent. I, I don't have a lot of experience with uh, Torrent software. Uh, so I downloaded it just for this project. It worked fine. So if you're looking for something that's free, Qubit Torrent worked fine for me. And then you're going to click on this little info here. Uh, scroll down and this is going to be Bandit's No Clutter Collection. And he's going to give full instructions on how to do this. He put together this collection. He put together the Hyperspin front end for Androids or the Shield. And uh, so I'm going to refer you to his instructions on this. Uh, but once you get it all set up, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'll do that now. All right. So we're going to take a look at the Hyperspin uh, front end and check out some emulation and play some games. But before I do, a couple of notes about the actual install process. Uh, Bandit goes over networking quite a bit. If you can't get that working, don't worry about it. You can just unzip the file onto a USB stick attached to your computer, unplug it from the computer, plug it into the shield, and you're good to go. Uh, also, he, you do need to download some things from the Google Play Store. To do that, just go to apps up here, uh, click into there, go to, go to get more apps, and just do a search for exactly the emulators in the programs that he asked for. You will need to download a file manager. I downloaded this one. It's just called File Manager, um, and it looks like that. It was free, and it works fine. So if you're looking through all the file managers, and you see some of them cost money, some of them are free, well, this particular one worked for me. So once you've got everything all set up, uh, you just literally start up the Hyperspin app, and you get to see the front end. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, it shows all of the different systems. Uh, the systems included are the NES, the Super NES, N64, GameCube, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Master System, Genesis, Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, Game Gear, PlayStation, PSP, Lynx, uh, some Android games, and then a whole bunch of arcade games. So there's really quite a bit in here. Uh, it's not like full complete sets for any of the systems. It's mostly the stuff that you would expect to find if you were to boot up an NES or to, uh, you'd like to play on the N64. It's it's not a deep collection, uh, but it's kind of the, the greatest hits kind of thing, uh, which is really cool actually. So why don't we boot up a couple of games? We'll start off on the NES here. Castlevania came right up, so we'll play a little Castlevania. I'm playing with an NVIDIA Shield controller. Um, 
this is a wireless controller. I haven't noticed any latency. It's software emulation, so there's gotta be latency in there, uh, but it's nothing that I can detect. Uh, it's fast enough that everything feels fluid and fine to me. The sound f sounds good. You know, it looks real sharp and good. I, th I think it's actually a pretty cool system here. And of course, Castlevania being one of my favorite games, uh, this is just a, this is just a bonus, you know, play a little Castlevania on an NVIDIA shield. Uh, cool stuff. All right. So why don't we check out a couple other games? We'll quit out of there. And uh, why don't we check out a Super Nintendo game? I see Boogerman up there. It might be a little bit above our maturity level, Boogerman, uh, but we're going to check it out anyway. Uh, the games load relatively fast. I, I, I've never loaded it off of a USB stick. I'm not sure if it'd be faster off a USB stick than it is off of the hard drive, um, but it all feels relatively quick and responsive to get games running. Uh, we don't need the story of Boogerman right now. I mean, obviously the canon is important to the Boogerman fran franchise, uh, but right now I think we can skip it. But this all looks good, or as good as Boogerman's going to look. And again, there's there's got to be latency there. Of course, we're using a Bluetooth controller. It's software emulation, but it all feels completely playable. Oh, of course, I got to throw some boogers. All right, so that's Booger Man. Why don't we move on? We'll quit out of that. Uh, we'll get out of that Super Nintendo. We'll skip ahead a little bit. Why don't we do a Nintendo 64 game? Uh, do they have Mario Golf? Yeah, Mario Tennis. Oh, my God. Complete fail. No Mario Golf. Is it called Super Mario Golf? I think it's just called Mario Golf. It's not here. Unfortunate. Why don't we start up with some Super Mario 64? So I've already been playing this a little bit, so it actually started up where I left off, which is kind of neat. And uh, the controls feel good. You know, like the N64 controller is a bit of a weird thing, but as you can see, I've got no problem controlling Mario. There we go. There's that triple jump <laughs> and a dive. Mario looks good. All right. Why don't we move on? We'll get out of N64. Why don't we try some PlayStation stuff? Uh, I have been having problems with the Dreamcast. Uh, games are not loading currently for me on the Dreamcast. So that's something I have to diagnose. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that running or not, but be aware, like not everything is running perfectly for me out of the box. Uh, but we'll play a little PSP. I have checked out OutRun 2006 on the PSP. Let's see if this loads up. Out for a nice uh, evening or daytime drive in the uh, in the old Ferrari, feeling good, looking good. Man, this game looks quite good. I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed I didn't pick this up when it was new on the PSP because I know I would have loved it. Doesn't seem to be skipping any frames. Controls fine. Uh, you can hook up a regular Xbox controller to this. Yeah, it looks great. All right, we'll get out of there. Whoops, nope, didn't want to do that. Exit to main menu. Exit. And why don't we try a PlayStation game out to uh, end up the video here. 
Oh, Tekken 3 sounds fun. I haven't played any Tekken 3 in a bit. We'll do arcade mode. We're laying down the law. Some martial law. Look out, Eddie. I have not played this game in a long time, so let's see how we do against Eddie. <laughs> Ow, Eddie. Low blow, man. There we go. Not too bad. Plays fine. You know, it's a pretty cool project overall, being able to uh, just reuse this NVIDIA Shield that I haven't been using for a while to play some classic games in the living room. Not too bad. I'd like to thank Bandit for making this possible. I'll put a link to the in the description to his video on how to set all this up. It really is an easy setup, though, guys. And if you have an NVIDIA Shield hanging around, uh, I would definitely uh, throw this on there. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.